Okay, this is the Modern East moment. Bastan on Ulima, the fifth form. Like I said, I've been having a lot of questions about this, so it's time to release it. What is it? Well, very simple. When Professor Prices first came over to the States, uh, he was on the West Coast. I was talking to someone, uh, I'll tell you whom it is, Grandmaster Rick Manglinong. Uh, he used to study with Professor out there. In, I think it was 78, 79, he was a second degree black belt in modern Arnis through Professor Prices. So, recently we were talking and we came about the forms and I said, all right, you know, I like practicing the forms together. It's cool, it's a nice transition, but you know, what else is done with the forms? He goes, well, that's kind of funny that you mentioned that. I go, why? I go, when Professor first came over to the United States, he taught all four forms together. So, and I thought it was just, at first I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. I mean, it was very coincidental that I would link these forms together and they felt well. They, they moved really good together. I was like, well, you know, you're not the only one that's done that. And I didn't think I was, um, but it, it really flowed well. Well, it turned out that when Professor first came over, those were all as one form. So, you know, whether he thought it was easier to uh, teach in separate little sections or not, not sure. Not something I really ended up talking to the professor about. Uh, my thing was trying to get the moves down of all the forms and getting some applications. But I never really thought about, well, you know, do you put these together? It's just something I would do because I would take my kids to tournaments. And, you know, you do a stick form. Well, like you see the, the four stick forms that we've done so far. You know, you put it up against a bow kata and it wouldn't do well because it was too short. It would have a good flow and stuff and that would be great. And it was unique because it was a stick and everyone else was doing bows. But the bow was a bigger weapon, a stronger weapon. You can put two hands and swing on it. Um, you know, aesthetically much more pleasing than a stick at times, especially when it only had 10 or 12 moves. So, um, you know, obviously that's why we went the route of putting them all together. Well, it turns out that this is what Professor did. So in the WMA, the fifth form is all four of those forms put together to make one big one. So here's your modernist moment, Bastan on Lima. Now for the fifth stick form, Bastan on Lima. Okay, and that's how we do the, the fifth stick form, Bastana New Lima, the way that we do it in the WMA. I, I hope everyone enjoyed this series for the Modern East moment. Uh, we will be going back to the regular format, obviously, because this is the big topic. So, uh, once again, the way we do the forms, our hour version, like everything in the art, it evolved. Professor taught it different ways, different times. Um, if you look at the original DV, or the original VHS, when it came time to do the uh, forms, stick and open hand on the modern Arnie's videos the professor produced uh, in the 80s, you would see that everyone did the forms differently. Professor had one way, 
and, and each other person did it slightly different. So uh, professor liked to encourage everyone's individuality of the art. The forums were a basic template, you know, uh, depending on your background. The karate people did it with more of a karate feel. The taekwondo people do it with no taekwondo feel. You know, at the end of the day, professors just wanted the art to get out there. Okay, so this is the way we do it. Uh, I've seen the way the others do it. You know, it's all good. And uh, you just got to find out which way works best for you. So, once again, I hope you enjoyed this. And that's your Modern Earnest Moment.